Hello everyone, today we are doing a new playthrough of a psychological horror game called Finger Bones. It's very short, I've got the description up here. Um, it is intended to be completed in a single sitting and there is no save function. It is suggested that you set aside about half an hour to complete it. Uh, pretty basic controls. I am not very good with scary games, like I'm not very good at puzzle games, so I apologize in advance for any swearing. There's probably going to be quite a bit if there are jump scares. And this is going to be a longer set than usual because I'm not going to break it up. I'm not going to be able to break it up. So this is probably going to be in a set of two to four videos, depending on how long it takes me and how crap I am at it. Let's get started. Cobwebs. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh my god. Can I pick anything up? Oh. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. That sounds positive, okay. I'm... This is my first time playing through this, and I really am learning as I'm going, so it looks like I'm probably gonna have to read all of the notes out loud, just because the lighting is pretty poor. Probably done for atmosphere, but it does look like it's pretty poor. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. That doesn't sound great. Old filing cabinet, fab. Still can't open anything. Oh, got a flashlight now, okay. I apologize as well if the video is a little jittery, it's coming out that way for me too. Like, it's genuinely, it's not the video, it's the game. The game is a little jittery and it's dark as balls, and it's really weirdly lit. And I can't pick anything up. Okay, weird hatch set into the wall. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy. I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Alright there, bud. Okay. Oh, there's another door over here. I didn't see that at first. Uh... Oh. Presumably, I have to figure out what his daughter's name is. Yes, thank you, very loud machine. 
It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write in anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am d enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. So I guess Katie is probably his daughter's name. Wrong. Katie is not his daughter's name. Oh, it was his daughter's name, and it unlocked the creepy basement. Great. Again, I apologize in advance for any shouting. There's probably going to be some. And swearing. Probably going to be some of that. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay. I have a feeling I know where this is going, and it's not anywhere good. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up by the, near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. I'm not close enough to pick up this note. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Okay, I presumably have to go back upstairs. Come on, come on, back up, up the stairs. stuck into the table. Boxes full of knives. Lots of knives. Fabulous. Not sure I like this. I was being stupid. 
back to the computer. M move! Honestly, are you wearing concrete shoes? Lynn. Okay. So I bet that unlocked the door in the creepy basement. I do like this effect, where the room kind of fades in, where you- after you open the door, that's quite cool. Kind of like you're adjusting to the light. Oh, um... Great. A saw, a knife, a hammer, a wrench, a screwdriver, this looks fabulous, lots of coffee cups. Gotta stay caffeinated. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Yeah, I knew it. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N-N-Y. The rest of the word is missing. Okay. Stairs and figure out what the word is. Move! Oh my god. No. Um. what it would be. Am I missing an important clue? Is there a note that I'm missing? I must be. Who closed the door behind me? I left that closed. Or I left that open. It was not closed. It was the opposite of closed. Who closed that? Why can't you jump? Move, concrete shoes man. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. 